It's no secret that Valve has earned a goodwill of the Linux community, right? They did a lot for gaming on Linux, primarily I mean about Proton and their failed attempts at uh, Steam console and then all the things that led to making a Steam Deck, you know, everything in between. They are invested into, well, filling their pockets, I would say. For the, for, for the first thing they, they want to do, right? But as a trickle-down effect, it has um, uh, it, it is a good thing for us gamers on Linux, right? So we are kind of happy that we have Valve and uh, people like that who, who are contributing to the uh, all-around gaming on Linux, right? But there is one thing that Valve does not do exactly in a perfect way. This is their DRM system. So I have been constantly um, rolling in my head about why or how come that CD project isn't doing anything about it. I mean, doing in terms of marketing or anything like that. They are selling DRM free games, so that's a good thing, right? And why do we all just keep shilling for Valve instead. And by shilling, I, I don't mean that we are kissing their feet or anything like that, but you can see a lot of people talk about how they're playing Steam games on Linux. I guess a part of this reason is because the launcher is available and everything is easy to set up. It's basically, it, it basically just works as a console, right? You click download, the game installs, you can play. In most games, it, it works like that. Like that for CD Projekt, it's, it's kind of weird in my mind that they are not investing into Linux more. They have some Linux games, but they don't have a Linux launcher. And I can already hear you uh, typing in the comments below. You have Lutris, you have Heroic. Yes, yes, we do. We are a large community of very talented, talented people and programmers, and we do have workarounds we can use Heroic Launcher to download GOG games that we purchased uh, and that we fully own and it's uh, they are DRM free and Heroic is pretty well um, balanced in terms of feature parity with the original uh, GOG launcher on Mac and Windows. Uh, Lutris, in my mind, is a better launcher. I'm going to get to that a bit later, but I prefer Lutris, although it has somewhat less features uh, compared to Heroic. It's a bit weird that CD Projekt is not investing in, into making their launcher work on Linux. They could follow Valve's uh, footsteps, they could just take Proton like uh, Lutris and Heroic people do it, uh, just bundle it with their launcher, make it compile on Linux. It, it shouldn't be all that hard, right? They have a lot of people, they have a lot of programmers, it, it's not impossible to, do, to, to produce a launcher on Linux, right? But why are they not doing it? And I know that you're going to tell me that they have been like endorsing a heroic launcher, right? Maybe they even invested some money into that project. I'm not actually sure, uh, but th that's besides the point. Um, the reason why I have been constantly having this rolling in my mind is because their DRM free policy is a bit more aligned with the I guess spirit uh, of um, Linux community and open source and free software. I mean, uh, most of the games are not free software, but just having stuff owned when you paid for it, it's kind of better than just signing a contract for the lifetime access to the license of uh, certain software like Steam does it, right? So. After rolling this in my head for a long, long, long time, uh, yesterday it just crossed my mind. I think they should invest into development of Lutris and Heroic, or maybe pick one of those. Literally invest in, in time and resources and in, in humans that work, work for them and like contribute code to bring up the feature parity of one of these launchers or maybe both. Just they, they, they should market it more, you know, just... Uh, 
tell people all, all, all around uh, that they are doing this and they are supporting this open source and free software projects and that they want us to use this uh, to to access their um, games shop. I, I don't know how to put it better. I, I think the existing two launchers are pretty good and all it takes is one of these companies and in this case I'm thinking about the one that has DRM free games uh, is that they should invest in into this right you know if, if you think about how Nvidia and AMD are investing into graphics drivers on Linux it's it's pretty different right and one of these are preferred by the Linux community and there is a good re reason for that right let me know down in comments what you, what you think about my opinion and um, I'm gonna see you in the next video.